up YouTube, welcome to another Milmer's Xcode tutorial. This tutorial is on image views again, and if you haven't seen them, go check the playlist out on my channel here. Um, in the last video we made a button that would move the image down the screen. Uh, as you can see here, I've now modified that so it will go up the screen, down the screen, left and right. Um, so this is basically the same lines of code just copied and changed. Um, so let's get started open up my image view controller project and uh, first of all we need to have four more actions for the up downs and we don't need this button outlet anymore so go into the dot h delete this button outlet because we don't need that anymore and then this action change to up and this one and then copy that and paste Oops, paste and no, <laughs> and paste. And change this one to down, this one to left, and this one to right. Um, save that, copy all of these, go into the .m, paste, delete the up, change this hide image here to up, change this to minus five, then copy this code here, go inside the down, enter twice, paste it in, and change this to plus five. So instead of going up the page, it will go down the page. So um, we all covered this code in the last tutorial, guys. So if you don't have a clue what I'm talking about, then uh, go watch the other tutorial and uh, it should be as clear as rain. Next one for the left, open the curly brackets, and for the right, open the curly brackets. Now to make this go left and right, instead of changing the Y, we're going to change the X. Um, so paste that code in again, delete the minus 5, and put in here, uh, next to the X, minus 5. And that will minus it 5 that way, to go to the left. And same go in here, paste the code, and put in plus 5 to go right. Save that. Now we need to change our uh, .nib, so if we open the .nib and uh, first of all we'll move our image down to the centre because we want it to be nice and centre and to do that we can go to the third tab on the attributes and select these two down here and that should centre it for us in the middle of the screen. Now we need to duplicate this button three more times, so command D, command D, command D and that will give us four buttons to use. Um, this one here we can change to up because that's connected and we can command equals that to make it a nice size this one here we can make down because it's closest to the bottom so we can command equals that to make that one a nice size this one here can be right because that's closest to the right command equals that and this one here can be left command equals that and just position them so they look nice down the bottom here uh -huh, like that now we can uh, go into our files owner go to the connections tab delete these outlets here because they don't exist anymore and then connect down to down touch up inside left to left touch up inside right to right touch up inside and up to up, touch up inside. Save interface builder, and uh, that's it, guys. Uh, we can build and run. So here we go. Here's our simulator. There's our image. There's our buttons. Up, left, right, and down. They all work, and they will move the image. So uh, there you go, guys. Just a quick tutorial, just to teach you how to make the left, right, up, down buttons, rather than just moving it down the screen. In my next tutorial, I'm going to be doing something called an image collision. Whereas if an image touches another image, uh, something will happen on the screen. So say if you're doing a game app, if this image here and I was moving it and it hit another image up here, I would collect it or something and it will give me points or something like that. Um, so look out for that tutorial. Annotation should appear here. And uh, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe and see you in my other tutorials.